नमस्कार विद्यार्थी मित्रो सद्या सर्वत्र कोरोना की सात पसर ले तुम्हें सर्वानी घर सुरक्षित रहा अपने मित्र अपने सर्व नातेवाईकान देखी तुम्हें संगा कि घर सुरक्षित रहा अपने प्रशासना मदद करू शो या आजाराशी लड़ने अपने जे क्या आरोग्य सेवक है डॉक्टर्स नर्सेस सर्व कर्मचारी कायदा सुव्यवस्था रखने अपने सर्व पोलिस सैल्यूट करू आपला नवीन जो अभ्यासक्रम है बारावी का तो मी आज पास सुरुआत कर निमित्त तुम्हें बाहर देखी जा या अभ्यास क्रमा मध्य प्रकरण की संख्या कमी है डिफरशिएशन ने चालू है गे वर्षी फर्स्ट चैप्टर एक कंटिन्टी हो बालभारती वेबसाइट वी पुस्तक देखी आए तुम्हें डाउनलोड करू शता बगू देखी शकता सर्व मजे ये सर्व वीडियोज आते प्रत्येक एक्सरसाइज वर डिपेंड एक्सरसाइज एक सूचना प्रत्येक एक्सरसाइज ऐसी आधी जे एक्साम्पल्स शॉर्ट एक्साम्पल्स रूल्स फॉर्म्यूले अंतर्भाव के एक्सप्लेन देखी के वीडियो मजा हा मोटा होना है बरेस मुल मन कि छोटे छोटे वीडियो बना परंतु माला तस शक्य नहीं कि एकदा एक एक्सरसाइज एक टॉपिक्स ये तो पूर्ण करना मुक्त पूछा टॉपिक्स माला जास्त सोई चाहते तुम्हें जेवड़ा वीडियो बगित नेक्स्ट टाइम तुम्हें पूरे तिथु पूरे कंटिन्ू करा जेनेकर तुम्हारा तो पूर्ण अभ्यास करता सगत चांगली गोष मे तुम्हें पीसी वर जर बगित कि स्मार्ट स्मार्ट टीवी अल तुम मोबाइल का स्क्रीन जर तुम्हें स्क्रीन कास्ट के निश्चित तुम्हारा तो फायदा हो सके बरच विद्यार्थी मनता कि हिंदी मध्य बोला परंतु हिंदी माला इतक का शक्य होना नहीं मजी मातृभाषा ही मराठी है मी जे का इंग्लिश बोलते देखी मज अतिशय सोप मैथमेटिक्स मध्य इंग्लिश शब्द टेक द लिमिट टेक द डेरेवेटिव टेक इंटीग्रेशन मल्टीप्लाइड सब्सट्रैक्शन अब्द सर्व स्टेप्स अतिशय सोप्या भाषे एक्सप्लेन के ज्यादा को समझा लैंग्वेज का प्रॉब्लम आवाज म्यूट कर स्टेप्स बगित तरी चल बरसदा हो बरच मुल कि स्लो होते पर सर्वान समझने मोबाइल वरन पीसी वरन तो स्पीड वाढ़ू पकता मैं मैक्सिम जो जे का स्लो है तो मी मजा प्रेरणे घबर पुस्तका मध्य थोड़ाफार करेक्शन टेक्सटबुक मध्य आंसर रॉन्ग आऊ शक प्रॉब्लम मध्य करेक्शन मैं मजा पेज या उजव्या बाजूला रेड येलो इंक ने तस लिखे कि करेक्शन है प्रकार मी शक्य तो आठवड्यात दोन वीडियो अपलोड कराया प्रयत्न करे कारण की एक वीडियो तैयार करना भरपूर वे लगत कि हा वीडियो टाका तो वीडियो टाका तुम्हें को मनू ना मैं मजा मजा सिक्वेन्स ने जा रे कि जी सिक्वेन्स तुम्हारा समझने सा योग्य होना है तो आप सुरू करू ट्वेल्व मैथमेटिक्स चैप्टर नंबर वन डिफरशिएशन डिफरशिएशन लेट एस स्टडी डेरिवेटिव ऑफ कॉम्पोजिट फंक्शंस derivative of inverse functions derivative of differentiated functions higher order derivatives 
geometrical meaning of derivatives, logarithmic differentiation, derivatives of parametric functions. Now let us recall the derivative of f of x with respect to x at x is equals to a is given by the formula that is f dash of x is equals to the matrix tends to 0 f of a plus h minus f of a upon h this is the definition of the first principle the derivative can also be defined for f of x at any point x on the open interval as f dash of x is equal to the mean x tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x upon h. The function is given by y is equal to f of x and x derivative is written as dy by dx and that is equal to f dash of x. Then for the derivative of some standard functions, the y is equal to f of x, if the derivative is a divided by dx of dash of x. Now the derivative of constant is 0, there is a real number is 0. Derivative of x raised to n is n equal x raised to n minus 1. Derivative of 1 upon x, that is minus 1 upon x square, 1 upon x raised to n. There is a minus n upon x raised to n plus 1. Derivative of root x is 1 upon 2 root x. Derivative of sin x is cos x. Derivative of cos x is minus sin x. Derivative of tan x is a sex square x. Derivative of sec x is sec x into tan x. Derivative of cos x is a minus cos x into cot x. Derivative of cot x is minus cos x square x. Derivative of p raised to x is p raised to x. Derivative of p raised to x is a raised to x into log x. Derivative of log x is 1 upon x. Derivative of log of x to the base is 1 upon x log of a. Next is the rules of differentiation. If u and v are differentiable functions of x such that y is equal to u plus v, then dy by dx is equal to du by dx plus or minus dv by dx. Next is y is equal to u into v. Now there is a product rule, then the dy by dx is equal to u into dv by dx plus v into dv by dx. Next is y is equal to u upon v, then dy by dx is equal to v into du by dx minus u into dv by dx upon v square. Now the derivatives of composite function, that is function of function, function of another function. So far we have studied the derivatives of some simple functions like the derivative of sin x, derivative of log x, derivative of b raised to x, derivative of sin x is cos x, derivative of log of x is 1 upon x, derivative of b raised to x is b raised to x, etc. But now, how about the derivatives of sin of root x? Here is x, that is the root x. Here is the log of x, that is the log of sin of x square plus 5 or e raised to tan x. This is not e raised to x, e raised to tan x. This is not x, this is a sign of x square plus 5. Then how to find out the derivative of this type of the function? Therefore, these functions are known as the composite functions. In this section, that is where we study how to differentiate the composite function. Now for this, that is what is one more important theorem. And here theorem board chapter is that is what I will chapter. That is if y is equal to f of x, 
f of q and is a differential y is equal to f of q is a differential function of u and u is equal to g of x is a differential function of x such that the composite function y is equal to f of g of x is a differentiable function of x then dy by dx is equal to dy by du into u by dx now x of proof is we will see the proof here This is a that is a theorem. If y is equal to f of u is a differentiable function of u, and u is equal to g of x is a differential function of x, such that the composite function y is equal to f of g of x is a differentiable function. That is y is equal to f of g of x is a differentiable function of x. Then dy by dx is equal to dy by du into du by dx. Now here is a the proof. What is that proof? Let us given that y is equal to f of u and u is equal to g of x. We assume that u is a not constant function. Let there be a small increment in the value of x, say delta x, delta u, and the delta y are the corresponding increment in u and y respectively. Next is delta x, delta u and the delta y are the small increments in x, u and y respectively such that delta x is not equal to 0, delta u is not equal to 0 and delta y is not equal to 0. That is we have delta y upon delta x is equal to delta y upon delta u into delta u upon delta x. Therefore, the taking the limit at delta x tends to 0 on the both sides, then you will get limit delta x tends to 0, delta y upon delta x is equal to limit delta x tends to 0, delta y upon delta u into limit delta x tends to 0, delta u upon delta x. As a delta x tends to 0, delta u also tends to 0, and that's the limit delta x tends to 0, delta y upon delta x is equal to limit delta x tends to 0. Delta y upon delta u into limit delta x tends to 0, delta u upon delta x. And therefore, this is one. Since y is a differential function of u and u is a differential function of x, that is a we have limit delta u tends to 0, delta y upon delta u, it is a dy by u. And the limit delta x tends to 0, delta u upon delta x is equal to du by dx. Second, therefore, from 1 and 2, that is the limit delta x tends to 0, delta y upon delta x is equal to dy by du into du by dx. And therefore, that is the RHS of the resist and is finite. It implies that. LHS of third exists, also exists and is finite and that's why limit delta x tends to 0, delta y by delta x is equal to dy by dx, then the equation 3 becomes that is a dy by dx is equal to dy by du into du by dx. This is the important theorem, you have learned this theorem. Now we will go some illustrative examples it is here now the illustrative examples differentiate this with respect to x y is equal to in root of x square plus 5 that is here u is equal to x square plus 5 therefore y is equal to root of u and u is equal to x square plus 5 now y is a function of u and u is a function of x therefore Our rule is dy by dx is equal to dy by du into du by dx. y is equal to root u. 
Now differentiate this with respect to u. That is the dy by du is equals to 1 upon 2 root of u. And differentiate this with respect to x. du by dx is equals to 2x. Therefore, that the dy by dx is equals to 1 upon 2 or root of 2. That is 1 upon 2 in root of x square plus 5. And what is the du by dx? Is the derivative of x square. Derivative of x square is a 2x and derivative of 5 is 0. This is the dy by du and this is the du by dx. Now say this first. Therefore, by chain rule, what is the chain rule? dy by dx is equals to dy by du into du by dx. Therefore, substitute the values. You will get 1 upon 2 root of x square plus 5 into 2x. These two to get cancelled. That is, you will get x upon in root of x square plus 5. This is the dy by dx. Now again we will see here the same problem y is equal to this is a composite function u is equal to x square plus 5 y is equal to root u and u is equal to x square plus 5 dy by du is equal to this is the chain rule that's you have to remember dy by du into du by dx therefore y is equal to root of u u is equal to x square plus 5 now differentiate this first of all with respect to u. Therefore dy by dx is equal to 1 upon 2 root u. And differentiate this with respect to x. du by dx is equal to d dx of x squared plus 5. Which is a 2x, derivative of 5 is 0. And hence by the chain rule we substitute the values. What is the dy by dx? dy by dx means dy by du into du by dx. That is equal to 1 upon 2 in root of x square plus 5 into derivative of du by dx, which is a 2x. Now here is a 2 to get cancelled, and that's why you will get dy by dx is equal to x upon in root of x square plus 5. Now the second example here is a y is equal to sine of log x, put u is equal to log x, therefore y is equal to sine. Now differentiate this with respect to u and u is equal to log x and differentiate this with respect to x. Now what is the derivative of sine of u? It's a dy by du is equal to cos of u. Differentiate this with respect to x. du by dx is equal to 1 upon x. Now what is the value of u? u is equal to log x. That is the dy by du is equal to log of cos of log x. And du by dx is equal to 1 upon x. And hence by chain rule, that is a dy by dx is equal to dy by du into du by dx and substitute the values, then you will get the answer. The dy by du is a cos of log x and du by dx is a 1 upon x. Therefore, dy by dx is equal to cos of log x upon x. Now, next example is a e raised to, these are the sort examples, y is equals to e raised to tan x. Now differentiate this with respect to x. Now what is the derivative of e raised to x? Derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x in the same manner, but it is not x. e raised to tan x, here is a derivative of e raised to tan x is e raised to tan x into d dx of tan x. The derivative of tan x is a 6 square x. Therefore dy by dx is equals to e raised to tan x into Sex square x. Therefore, dy by dx is equal to sex square into e raised to tan x. Now, this is the example. Now, next is a y is equal to log of x raised to 5 plus 4. Differentiate this with respect to x. Therefore, dy by dx is equal to 1 upon what is the derivative of log of x is 1 upon x. Therefore, 1 upon x raised to 5 plus 4 into ddx of x raised to 5 plus 4. What is the derivative of x raised to 5? It's a 4u x raised to 4. Derivative of 4 is 0. And that's why you will get dy by dx is equal to 5u x raised to 4 upon x raised to 5 plus 4. Therefore, dy by dx is equal to 5u x raised to 4 
upon its respect by the plus 4. Now next is that is y is equals to 5 raised to 3 cos of x minus 2. Now it's a data to differentiate this with respect to x. Now again this is very simple. It is of the type a raised to x. What's the derivative of a raised to x? The derivative of a raised to x is a raised to x. In the same manner, derivative of 5 raised to 3 cos x minus 2 is a 5 raised to 3 cos x minus 2 into log of 5 but into dx of 3 cos x minus 2. Derivative of 3 cos x minus 2 is a derivative of cos x is minus sin x. That is a minus 3 sin x and derivative of 2 is 0. And that's why that is a minus 3 sin x into 5 raised to 3 cos x minus 2 into log of 5. Now the next is y is equals to 3 upon 2x square minus 7 bracket raised to 5. Now differentiate this with respect to x. Therefore dy by dx is equals to 3 upon 2x square minus 7 bracket raised to 5. Now this can be written as that is a 3 d dx of 2x square minus 7 bracket raised to minus 5. And it is written as that is a minus 5 into 2x square minus 7 minus 1 that is a bracket raised to minus 6 into d dx of 2x square minus 7 which is the 4x and derivative of 7 is 0 and overall you will get the answer that is a 15 into 4, that is a minus 60x upon 2x square minus 7 bracket raised to 6. Now the next example, that is the answer we can write dy by dx is equals to minus 60x upon 2x square minus 7 bracket raised to 6. Now next is y is equals to the root of sine of x cube, therefore dy by dx is equals to dx of sine of x cube. What is its derivative? That is 1 upon 2 sine of the root of sine of x cube into ddx of sine of x cube. Now again what is the derivative of sine? Derivative of sine of x cube is the cos of x cube into ddx of x cube. What is the derivative of x cube? Derivative of x cube is a 3x square. And in this way, at the first we find out this derivative of power, then derivative of sine, derivative of sine of x cube, which is the 3x square. And in this way, you will get 3x square into cos of x cube upon 2 in root of sine of x cube. And hence, dy by dx is equals to 3 upon 2 into x square into cos of x cube upon root of sine of x cube. That's the answer. Now, next is the problem number 8 y is equals to cot square in bracket x cube. Now first we will find out the cot square. We will find out the derivative of this cot. That is the ddx of cot square in bracket x cube which is 2 cot of x cube into ddx of cot. That is the cot of x cube. Now what is the derivative of cot? It is a minus cos x square x cube. Then derivative of x cube which is the 3x square. Therefore, overall is a 2 into 3, that is a 6, minus 6x six square, cot of x cube into cos x square x cube. And that's why you will get dy by dx is equals to minus 6x square, cot of x cube into cos x square x cube. Now, next is a problem number 9. y is equals to dog of cos of x raised to 5. Therefore, in this case, differentiate this with respect to x. That is the dy by dx is equals to 1 upon cos of x raised to 5 into ddx of cos of x raised to 5. This is the derivative of log of x, which is 1 upon that is 1 upon cos of x raised to 5 into ddx of cos of x raised to 5. Derivative of cos is minus sine of x raised to 5 into ddx of x raised to 5. Derivative of x raised to 5 is a 5x raised to 4. And that's why you will get minus 5 x raised to 4 tan of x raised to 5. And hence the answer is dy by dx is equal to minus 5 x raised to 4 into tan of x raised to 5. Next is problem number 10. That is a y is equal to 
x cube plus 2x minus 3 bracket is to 4 into x plus cos x bracket is to 3. Now differentiate this with respect to x after the product rule. That x cube plus 2x minus 3 bracket is to 4 into dx of x plus cos x bracket is to 3 plus x plus cos x bracket is to 3 into dx of x cube plus 2x minus 3 bracket is to 4. Now in this way, simplify this x cube plus 2x minus 3 bracket is to 4 and it's the power that is a 3 into x plus cos x into dx of x plus cos x. Next is a plus x plus cos x bracket is to 3. Again, this derivative of this power that is a 4 x cube plus 2x minus 3 into dx of x cube plus 2x minus 3. And Japan the atla functions are derivative kada first stage that is x cube plus 2x minus 3 bracket is to 4 3 x plus cos x bracket square and derivative of x is 1 and cos x is minus n x. Of the next term that is x cos of x bracket is to 3 x cos of x bracket is to 3 4 x cube 2x minus 3 into dx of x cube plus 2x minus 3 derivative of x cube is a 3x square and 2x is a 2 therefore divided by dx is equals to 3 in bracket x cube plus 2x minus 3 bracket is to 4 into x plus cos x bracket square into 1 minus sin x plus 4 into 3x square plus 2 into x plus cos x bracket is to 3 into x cube plus 2x minus 3. Now the next is y is equals to x problem y is equals to 1 plus cos square x bracket is to 4 into in root of x plus in root of tan x. Now differentiate this with respect to x. That is a dy by dx. That is in root of x plus in root of tan x into dx of 1 plus cos square x bracket is to 4 plus 1 plus cos square x bracket is to 4 into dx of in root of x plus in root of tan x. That is a in root of x plus in root of tan x. Now its a derivative is a 4. 1 plus cos square x bracket is to 3 into dx of 1 plus cos square x. Now the next is plus 1 plus cos square x bracket is to 4 plus 1 upon 2 in root of x plus root of tan x into dx of x plus root of tan x. That is the derivative of this is a first of all derivative of this one is 0. That is cos square, that is a 2 times cos x into derivative of cos x is a minus sin x plus 1 plus cos square x bracket is to 4 into 1 upon 2 in root of x plus root of tan x into plus 1 plus 1 upon in root of tan x. Now here is a derivative of x plus root of tan x. That is a derivative of x is, is derivative of x is 1. Derivative of root of tan x is 1 upon 2 times root of tan x into derivative of tan x minus x per x. And it is a little easier. And now here is the simplification. You can see this simplification. These are the sort examples from the textbook. Also, you can see these examples. Okay, this is the answer. It's very big problem. Now the problem number 12. That is y is equals to log of theta, log of x, base 5, log of log of x to the base 5 to the base 3. Now we can change y is equals to log of 3. It's a log of x upon log of 5. Now again this can be written as log of y is equals to log of x to the base 3 minus log of 5 to the base 3. Now they are differentiation that y is equals to log of log x upon log of 3 minus log of log of 5. Now differentiate this with respect to x. 
Now this is the constant x that derivative is zero. That is the log of log x. The derivative of log of log x is one upon log x into the x of log x is one upon x. Therefore, the answer is divided by dx is equals to one upon log of three into log of x into one upon x. Therefore, divided by dx is equals to one upon x into log of x into log of three. Problem number thirteen. That y is equals to log of e raised to three x into in bracket three x minus four raised to two upon three upon cubic root of two x plus five. Therefore, this is written as apply the the properties of log. That is, here is a division. That is log of m upon n. It is written as log of e raised to three x into log of the into three x minus four raised to two upon three minus log of two x plus five raised to one upon three. Now here is a again there is a multiplication. That is log of e raised to three x plus log of three x minus four raised to two upon three minus log of two x plus five raised to one upon three. And again it is written as y is equals to three x log of e to the x two upon three. Log of 3x minus 4 minus 1 upon 3. Log of 2x plus 5. Now what is it? Log of e to the base is 1. That is a 3x. 2 upon 3. Log of 3x minus 4 minus 1 upon 3. Log of 2x plus 5. This is the simplification of this whole term. Now it is in the simplified form. Now differentiate this with respect to x. What is the derivative of 3x. The derivative of 3x is a 3. Derivative of 2 upon 3 log of 3x minus 4, which is 1 upon 3x minus 4, into dx of 3x minus 4, which is next is 3 minus 1 upon 2. Derivative of log of 2x plus 3 is 1 upon 2x plus 5 into dx of 2x plus 5, which is the derivative of 2x plus 3 is a 2. And normal simplification is there. 3 plus 2. Upon 3x minus 4 minus 2 upon 3 in bracket 2x plus 5. Therefore, we have to divide by dx is equals to 3 plus 2 upon 3x minus 4 minus 2 upon 3 in bracket 2x plus 5. Now the next problem is problem number 14. Y is equals to log of in root of 1 minus cos of 3x upon 2. Upon one plus cos of three x upon two, and here is a that's a simplification. That is a one minus cos. The two sine square whatever the angle divided by two. That is a two sine square three x upon four upon two cos square three x upon four. Now here two two get cancelled. Therefore you will get y is equal to log of sine of three x upon four upon cos of three x upon four. And that's why we we'll get that the y is equal to log of tan of 3x upon 4. That is the y is equal to log of tan of 3x upon 4. Now it's a derivative. What's the derivative of log of x? That is the 1 upon tan of 3x upon 4 into dx of tan of 3x upon 4. The derivative of tan of 3x upon 4 is a 6 square 3x upon 4 into derivative of 3x upon 4, which is a 3 by 4. And overall. You will get that is one upon tan of three x upon four into one upon cos square three x upon four into three by four, and this tan can be written as tan of three x upon four can be written as sine of three x upon four upon cos of three x upon four. That is one cos of three x upon four get cancelled, and you will get three upon four sine of three x upon four into cos of three x upon four. Now again, this can be written as that is three upon This four can be written as two into two. That is a two sine of three x upon four into cos of three x upon four. That is a two sine theta into cos theta means sine of two times theta. In this way, here is a three. This is a two. That is a sine of two times three x upon four. That is nothing but three upon two sine of three x upon two. Therefore, dy by dx is equals to three upon two into cos of three x upon two. Now. The next problem is a problem number two fifteen. That is, y is equal to log of 
x plus in root of x square plus x square upon in root of x square plus x square minus x. Now here we will rationalize the denominator, multiply it, it's a conjugate term. That is in root of x square plus x square plus x to the numerator and denominator. Now what is here? a minus b, a plus b, then a square minus b square. Then you will get x square plus x square minus x square. And what about the numerator? It will become bracket square. That is root of x square plus x square plus x bracket square. Therefore, plus x square minus x square get cancelled. And you will get that is the log of in root of x square plus x square plus x bracket square minus log of x square. That is the two times log of in root of x square plus x square plus x minus log of a square. Now differentiate this with respect to x. That is the dy by dx is equal to d dx of 2 log of in root of x square plus x square plus x minus log of a square. And that is 2 d dx of log of in root of x square plus x square plus x minus derivative of this constant term. That is a 0. That is a 2, 1 upon in root of x square plus x square plus x into d dx of in root of x square plus x square plus x. That is nothing but that is a 2 upon in root of x square plus x square plus x to 1 upon that is it's a derivative. What is the derivative of root of x square plus x square? That is a 1 upon 2 times in root of x square plus x square into derivative of x square plus x square and this derivative of x is a 1 here. Now, see this here, that is a derivative of x square is a 2x and derivative of a is 0. Here is a 2x upon 2 in root of x square plus x square. This 2 to get cancelled and that is why 2 upon in root of x square plus x square plus x into x plus in root of x square plus x square upon in root of x square plus x square. Now, these two terms get cancelled and overall you are getting the answer 2 upon in root of x square plus x square. Therefore, dy by dx is equal to 2 upon in root of x square plus x square. Now, the next is, next problem is, that is, y is equal to 4 is to log of sin of x to the base 2 plus 9 raised to log of cos x to the base 3. Now, this 4 can be written as 2 raised to 2. And this 3 can be written as, 9 can be written as 3 raised to 2. That is a 2 raised to log of sin square x to the base 2 plus 3 raised to log of cos square x to the base 3. Now what is here to the base 2? 2 raised to log of sin square x to the base 2 is nothing but sin square x. And 3 raised to log of cos square x to the base 3 is cos square x. Sin square x plus cos square x is 1. Now differentiate this. The derivative of this is 0. It is a constant. Therefore dy by dx is equal to 0. Now the next is problem number 17. y is equal to a raised to a raised to log of cot of x to the base a. Again this is nothing but a raised to cot x. Therefore by using this formula that is equal to f of x and that is nothing but a raised to cot x. Now derivative of cot x. What is the derivative of a raised to x? Derivative of a raised to x is a raised to x. Therefore derivative of a raised to cortex is a raised to cortex into log of a into derivative of cortex. Derivative of cortex is minus cos x square x. And that is why dy by dx is equal to minus cos x square x a raised to cortex into log of a. Now, next problems are, these are different types of the problems. If f of x is equal to in root of 7, g of x minus 3 g of 3 is 4 and g dash of 3 is 5. Find g dash of 3 is 3. Now here is f of x. It is a derivative. f dash of x is equal to dx of e root of 7 g of x minus 3. It is a derivative. 1 upon 2 times in root of 7 g of x minus 3 into derivative of 7 g of x minus 3. What is the derivative of g of x? It is a g dash of x. 7 g dash of x. Therefore, that is 1 upon 2 in root of 7 g of x minus 3, 7 g dash of x. Substitute the values when x is equal to 3. Replace x by 3 and you will get that we have dash of 3. 
is equals to 7 j dash of 3 upon 2 in root of 7 j of 3 minus 3. That is a 7 into 5 upon 2 in root of 7 into 4 minus 3. These are the problems which are solved in the textbook. But again, I am explaining here. Therefore, you will get 35 upon 2 root of 25. That is the root of 25 is 5. That is a 7 upon 2. Therefore, f dash of 3 is a 7 upon 2. Now, next question is this is the if capital F of x is a capital G of x, 3 in bracket capital G in bracket I G of x, G of 0 is 0. G dash of 0 is 3. Then find F dash of 0. Now we want to find out this is F. Find out it's a derivative of dash. Well, then this is a composite. That's a G dash in bracket 3G, 5G of x. Into derivative of 3G, G of 5x. This is a constant. It's here. Into ddx of G of 5G of x. It's a derivative g dash 5g of x. Therefore, what about here? That is that is a phi is again here constant. That's a phi into ddx of g of x. The derivative of g of x is a g dash of x. Therefore, overall, this is written as 15. This is a 3 into 5. That is a 15. 15 g dash of in bracket 3g in bracket 5g of x bracket complete into g dash of 5g of x into g dash of x we put x is equals to g then you will get f dash of 0 is equals to 15 g dash of 3g of in bracket 5g of 0 bracket complete into g dash of 5g of 0 into g dash of g now substitute here the values that is a 15 g dash of g. Now, here is a, the values are, what are the values? g of 0 is 0. It's 0. 0 into 5 is 0. Therefore, here is a g of 0. Because g of 0 is 0. That is a 3 g of 0. Next, g, g of 0. What about g of 0? g of 0 is 0. 0 into 5 is 0. Therefore, g dash of 0. g dash of 0. This is a 3. This is a 3. Again, substitute the value. g dash of 0. What is the g dash of 0? It is 3. g dash of 0 is 3. This is 3. And overall, the answer is a 405. And in this way, now, next, this is one more activity is also there. That is, f of x is equal to sin x and g of x is equal to log x. Therefore, f of g of x is equal to a f of log x. What is the value of g of x? This log x. G f of g of x is equal to sine of log x. What is the f of log x? But what is it? What tells f? F means what sine of x. Therefore, this is nothing but sine of log x. Next is g of f of x. But what is f of x? Is sine x. And what is the g of x? g of x is log x. Therefore, here is a log of sin x. Now, next is f of x is equal to sin x. Then, what is f dash cos x? g of x is equal to log x. And what is the g dash of x? 1 upon x. Now, derivative of ddx of f of g of x is f dash of g of x into ddx of g of x, which is g dash of x. Therefore, f dash of g of x into g dash of x. Now substitute the values. f dash of g of x is log of x and g dash of x is 1 upon x. And overall, the answer is that is the cos of log x upon x. This is given in the textbook also. That's the activity you can fill up by using the textbook. Now, next is ddx of f of g of x is a cos of at x is equal to 1. Now put x is equal to 1, that is a log of 1. That is a log of 0. And log of 0 is 0. That is a cos of 0. 
cos of 0 is 1. Okay. Therefore, ddx of f of g of x is equal to this is 1. Therefore, now the ddx of g of f of x is g dash of f of x into f dash of x. g dash of f of x is a sin x, f dash of x is a cos x. Now, g dash of sin x is 1 upon sin x into derivative of this sin x is cos x. In g dash of sin x is sorry, g dash of sin x is 1 upon sin x and this is cos x. That is a cos x upon sin x. Now, ddx of g of f of x is equal to cot x. This is the answer. Now, at x is equal to pi by 3. Now, substitute x is equal to pi by 3 in place of the cot. Then you will get that is the root 3. And in this way, all the solid examples I had completed here. Now, we we'll start the exercise. Now, the exercise. 1.1 differentiate with respect to x first problem is x cube minus 2x minus 1 bracket is to 5 let x cube minus 2x minus 1 bracket is to 5. Differentiate this with respect to x. Therefore, dy by x is equal to. Now, here is the derivative of this power. That is a 5u. x cube minus 2x minus 1 bracket is to 4 into dx of x cube minus 2x minus 1. Derivative of x cube is a 3x square. The derivative of minus 2x is a minus 2. And derivative of 1 is 0. And that's why dy by dx is equal to 5u. 3x square minus 2 into x cube minus 2x minus 1 bracket is to 4. This is the answer. Now, next is second. y is equal to 2 raised to x raised to 3 by 2 minus 3 x raised to 4 upon 3 minus 5 bracket complete bracket is to 5 by 2 and here is again divided by dx differentiate with respect to x that is divided by dx is equal to 5 by 2 that is a 2 into 3 by 2 minus 3 x is to 4 upon 3 minus 5 bracket is to 3 by 2 5 by 2 minus 1 that is a 3 by 2 into ddx of 2 x is to 3 by 2 minus 3 x is to 4 by 2 minus 5 that is 5 by 2 this is a 2 x is to 3 by 2 minus 3x raised to 4 by 3 minus 5 x raised bracket is to 3 by 2 and it's a variable that is a 2 into 3 by 2 x raised to 1 upon 2 3 into 4 upon 3 x raised to 1 upon 2 and the rate of 5 is 0 now simplification that is 5 by 2 Next is a, there is a, it is 2 to the fraction, 3 into x raised to 1 upon 2 minus 4 x raised to 1 upon 2 and keep this term as it is, if I divide by dx is equal to 5 by 2, that is a 3 root x minus 4 to the root of x into 2 x raised to 3 by 2 minus 3 x is to 4 upon 2 minus 5 in bracket is to 3 by 2 now quick overlook to this problem y is equal to differential with respect to x 
5 x cube minus 2 x minus 1 bracket is to 4 into dx of x cube minus 2 x minus 1 it's a derivative is 3 x square minus 2 and the answer is written as dy by dx is equals to 5 into 3 x square minus 2 into x cube minus 2 x minus 1 bracket is to 4 and next problem Problem number 3. That y is equal to root of x square plus 4x minus 7. Therefore, dy will differentiate this with respect to x. That is a 1 upon 2 in root of x square plus 4x minus 7 into d dx of x square plus 4x minus 7. That is 1 upon 2 in root of x square plus 4x minus 7. So derivatives are 2x plus 4. Take 2 as common. Then in bracket x plus 2. That is upon 2 in root of x square plus 4x minus 7. This 2 to get cancel x plus 2. In root of x square plus 4x minus 7. Plus again, we have a dx. Y is equals to in root of x square plus 4x minus 7. So 1 upon 2 times the root of x square plus 4x minus 7 into the dx of x square plus 4x is a 2x plus 4 and overall that is a 2 to get cancelled therefore you will get dy by dx equals to x plus 2 in root of x square plus 4x minus 7 now, next is problem number 4 that is y is equals to in root of x square plus in root of x square plus 1. Now it's a derivative. Differentiate this with respect to x in root of x square plus in root of x square plus 1. Differentiate this with respect to x. That is a dy by dx is equals to 1 upon 2 in root of x square plus in root of x square plus 1 into the dx of x square plus in root of x square plus 1. Now the next is 1 upon 2 in root of x square plus in root of x square plus 1. Delta of x square is a 2x plus in root of x square plus 1. That is a 2 in root of x square plus 1 into delta of x square plus 1 is a 2x. And therefore, that's a simplification. 1 upon 2 in root of x square plus in root of x square plus 1. 2x. This 1 upon 2 in root of x square plus 1. Derivative x square plus b is a plus. This get cancelled. Then the 1 upon 2 in root of x square plus in root of x square plus 1. Then the 2x plus x upon in root of x square plus 1. Now then simplification. That is a 2 in root of x square plus in root of x square plus 1. Two x in root of x square plus one plus one upon x square. Let's say x here. Therefore, x upon two in root of x square plus in root of x square plus one into simplification. We can write this. It's a big simplification.
Это бывает в один сезон. Next is that is the x upon that is if we take x as common from these two, it is x that is a 2 x upon 2 in root of x square plus in root of x square plus 1 into 2 root of x square plus 1 plus 1 upon root of x square plus 1. Therefore, x is divided by x is equal to x into 2 in root of x square plus 1 plus 1. 2 in root of x square plus 1 into in root of x square plus in root of x square plus 1. That is y is equal to 3 upon y into q root of 2x square minus 7x minus 5 in bracket as to 5. That y is equal to 3 upon 5 cubic root of 2x square minus 7x minus 5 bracket as to 5. Therefore, 3 by 5 2x square minus 7x minus 5 bracket as to 5 by 3. Therefore, x are there is 3 by 5. 2x square minus 7x minus 5 bracket is to minus 5 by 2. Now differential this with respect to x. Therefore, dy by dx is equal to 3 by 5 minus 5 by 3. 2x square minus 7x minus 5. 5 by 3 minus 1 that is into ddx of 2x square minus 7x minus 5. And that is it's a minus 2x square minus 7x minus 5 bracket is to minus 8 upon 3. Into its derivative 4x minus 7. This constant get cancelled with 3355. Five. Therefore, dy by dx is equal to minus in bracket 4x minus 7 into 2x square minus 7x minus 5 bracket is to minus 8 upon 3. This is the derivative of dx. Normal plus a plus. Normal y is equal to 3 upon 5 into cubic root of 2x square minus 7x minus 5 bracket is to 5. 3 by 5, 1 upon 2x square minus 7x minus 5 bracket is to 5 upon 10. Differentiate. That is 3 by 5. It's a derivative minus 5 by 3 into 2x square minus 7x minus 5. Bracket is to minus 5 by 3 minus 1 into radius of 2x square minus 7x minus 5. Therefore, you will get 4x minus 7. The normal simplification is there. That is a minus 4x minus 7, 2x square minus 7x minus 5, bracket is 2, minus 8 upon 3, and hence this is the answer. Divide by dc equals to minus, in bracket 4x minus 7, upon 2x square minus 7x minus 5, bracket is 2, 8 upon 3. Next is, Here y is equal to in root of 3x minus 5 
minus 1 upon u root of 3x minus 5 bracket is of 5. Therefore, 3x minus 5 minus 1 upon 3x minus 5 bracket is of 5. Now differentiate, differentiate with respect to x dy by dx is equal to the 5 in bracket in root of 3x minus 5 minus 1 upon in root of 3x minus 5 bracket is to 4 into ddx of in root of 3x minus 5 minus ddx of 1 upon in root of 3x minus 5. And as it is now derivative of 3x minus 5. That is 1 upon 2 times in root of 3x minus 5 in ddx of 3x minus 5 is 3. Now here is a 1 upon minus 1 upon 2 minus 1 it is of 3 by 2 into ddx of 3x minus 5 is 3. Now simplification is there, complicated simplification is 5. This is 3 by 2, 3 by 2 is a common form of this bracket, that is a 5 by 3 by 2. In bracket, root of 3x minus 5 minus 1 upon in root of 3x minus bracket is to 4 and this is a normal simplification is there. That is 15 by 2. If we take the LCM, then in the numerator we will get 3x minus 5 plus 1 upon 3x minus 5 bracket is to 3 by 2. That is a 15 upon 2. 3x minus 4 upon 3x minus 5 bracket is to 3 by 2. In second bracket, in root of 3x minus 5 minus 1 upon in root of 3x minus 5 bracket is to 4. And so this here. The same problem. And repeating here. to pause for a new reflection plan. Okay. That's okay. Fine. Now next is question number two. Differentiate with respect to x. That is a cos of x square plus a square. Now let y is equals to cos of x square plus a square. Differentiate with respect to x. Therefore, dy by dx is equals to minus sin of in bracket x square plus s square into ddx of x square plus s square. That is a 2x. Therefore, minus 2x sin of in bracket x square plus s square. This is a dy by dx. On this problem, that is the y is equal to cos of x square plus s square, it is a derivative minus sin of x square plus s square, it is a ddx x square plus s square. The derivative of x square is a 2x, the derivative of a is a, a square is 0. Therefore, dy by dx is equal to minus 2x into sin of in bracket x square plus s square. Next problem. That y is equals to in root of e is to 3x plus 2 plus 5. 
चलो y plus two root of three is to three x plus two plus five. Differentiate this with respect to x. Dy by dx is equal to one upon two e root of three is to three x plus two. Plus five into d dx of e is to three x plus two plus five. Therefore, one upon two e root of e is to three x plus two plus five. Derivative of e is to three x plus five e is to three x plus two into d dx of three x plus two is three plus five. Derivative of five is zero. Normal simplification is there. That is one upon two e to e raised to three x plus two plus five. Hence, that is three e raised to three x plus two. Therefore, three by two. One upon e root of e raised to three x plus two plus five. E raised to into e raised to three x plus two. Therefore, d by d x is equal to. 3 into e raised to 3x plus 2 upon 2 in root of e raised to 3x plus 2 plus 5. This is the derivative of x. Derivative is equal to 3 by 2 e raised to 3x plus 2 upon in root of e raised to 3x plus 2 plus 5. See this. Same problem. Normal. Let's add a little. Let's have five is zero. It is two. So it's plus two into the base of three is plus two, which is three. Derivative two by two into one upon the root of e raised to three x plus two plus five into e raised to three x plus two. And then so d y by d x is equal to d by two into e raised to three x plus two upon the root of e raised to three x plus two plus five. Next is the That is it. Log of tan of x upon two. That y is equal to log of tan of x upon two. Differentiate this with respect to x. Dy by dx is equal to one upon tan of x upon two into d d x of tan of x upon two. For the derivative of tan of x upon two, that is one upon tan of x upon two. The derivative of tan is six to x upon two. Into derivative of x upon two is one upon two. One upon tan of x upon two. Six square means of one upon. That is one upon. Two sine of x by two, tan of x by two means what? Sine of x by two upon cos of x by two, six square means what? One upon cos square x by two. Now this one cos cos get cancelled, we will get two sine of x by two into cos of x by two. That is nothing but the sine of x and its reciprocal is cos of x. That's one. Dy by dx is equal to cos of x. So now we see this quickly here. One upon tan of x by two derivative of tan of x by six by two derivative of x by two, which is one upon six by two can be written as one upon cos by two, which is one upon two. 
Now tan means what sin x upon cos of x, sin of x by 2 upon cos of x by 2. This term get cancelled. There is a 2 sin theta into cos theta is sin of 2 times theta. Therefore dy by dx is equals to cos x. This is the simple one. y is equals to fourth one y is equals to the root of tan of root x therefore y is equals to in root of can of root x differentiate this with respect to x dy by dx is equals to 1 upon 2 in root of tan of root x into derivative of d dx of tan of root x and what is the derivative of tan of root x that is 6 square root x into d dx of root x this is the chain into derivative of root x therefore 1 upon 2 root of tan of root x derivative into x square root x into d x of root x is 1 upon the root x. That is 1 by 4 x square root x root x into tan of root x that is a six square root x 4 root x root of tan of root x. This is the dy by dx. This can be written as but y is equal to in root of tan of root x. It's a derivative 1 upon 2 root of tan of root x. It's a derivative of tan of root x. 6 square root x into radius of root x. Is 1 upon 2 root x and therefore it is a 1 by 4 6 square root x root x in the root of tan of root x therefore dy by dx is equals to 6 square root x 4 root x into root of tan of root x Problem number five. Ready? Cot cube in bracket log of x cube. Therefore, y is equals to cot cube log of x cube. Differentiate this with respect to x. Ready? Power of function first of all. That is the three times cot square in bracket log of in bracket x cube into ddx of cot of log of x cube that is the dy by dx is equals to 3 cot square in bracket log of x cube ddx of cot what is the derivative of cot minus cos x square log of x cube into ddx of log of x cube that is a 3 cos square log of x cube that is minus sign is upside that is a cos x square log of x cube into ddx of that is a 3 times log of x That is a minus 3 cot square log of x cube cos x square log of x cube and derivative of 3 log of x is 1 upon log x that is 3 into 1 upon x 
Now I'm going to simplification is here. Minus 9 upon x. Minus 9. Cos x squared log of x cube. Cot squared log of x cube. Therefore, dy by dx is equal to minus 9 cos x square log of x cube into cot square in bracket log of x cube upon x. Let's see this here. You can write now. Property y by dc equals to minus 9 cos x square log of x cube into cos square log of x cube upon x. Is problem number six. Five x to sine cube x plus three. Now derivative of base to x. What is the derivative of base to x? Base to x into log a. Y by dx is equal to five x to sine cube x plus three into log of five into d dx of sine cube x plus three. What is the derivative of sine q? 3 sine square x into derivative of sine x is cos x. That is the 5 is to sine q x plus 3 into log of 5. Sine q x means what? 3 sine square x into derivative of sine x is cos x. And derivative of 3 is 0. That is the 5 is to sine q x plus 3 log of 5. And the 3 sine square x into cos x. Therefore, dy by dx is equal to 3 sine square x into cos x. 5 is to sine cube x plus 3 into log of 5. It's the same problem. You can write now. Phi is equal to 5 is to small. That is sine cube x plus 3. It's a derivative. Log of 5. Derivative of sine cube x plus 3. 3 sine square x. Derivative of sine x is cos x and 3 is 0 by 2 simplified form therefore dy by dx is equal to 3 sin square x into cos x 5 is to sin cube x plus 3 log of 5 Next is number 7 cosec in root of cos x. That the derivative of cosec is minus cosec is into cot x, but there is a root of cos, cos x. We, we want to write the ddx of root of cos x. Therefore, dy over dx is equal to minus cosec root of cos x into cot of root of cos x into ddx of root of cos x which is 1 upon 2 times root of cos x into ddx of cos x which is minus 
see this here. This is the derivative of cos x minus cos minus cos x is equal to x. And this is the derivative of 1 upon 2 times root of cos x into derivative of cos x is minus sin. That is minus cos x in root of cos x into cot of in root of cos x. Which is minus sin x that is a 2 in root of cos x. Now simplify this. Minus minus will become plus. That is the cos x root of cos x into cot of root of cos x into sin x upon 2 in root of cos x. That is the divide by dx is equal to sin x into cos x root of cos x into cot of root of cos x upon 2 into root of cos x. Cos x is equal to minus cos x into cot x into the dx of root of cot x. Cos x, which is 1 upon 2 times root of cos x into the root of cos x, which is minus sin. Normal simplification is here. Minus, minus will become plus. That is sin x. Cos x root of cos x and the cot of root of cos x upon 2 root of cos x. Next is problem in the rate that is a log of cos of x to minus 5. Let y is equal to log of cos of x to minus 5. So 1 upon cos of x to minus 5 into derivative of cos of x to minus 5, which is minus c. Cos of derivative x to minus 5. That is 1 upon cos of x to minus 5 which is a minus sin of x cube minus 5 into derivative of x cube minus 5. That is 3x square. Derivative of 5 is 0. Therefore, 1 upon cos of x cube minus minus 1 upon cos of x cube minus 5. Sin of x cube minus 5. That is 3x square. That is a minus tan of x cube minus 5. 3x squared. Let the divide by dx is equal to minus tan of minus 3x squared tan of x cube minus 5. Y is equal to log of cos of x cube minus 5 1 upon cos of x cube into dx of cos of x cube minus 5 minus sin of x cube minus 5 into dx of x cube minus 5 which is a 3x square and writing sin upon cos which is a tan of x cube minus 5 therefore dy by dx is equal to minus 3x square tan of x cube minus 5 and That is a e raised to 3 sin square x minus 2 cos square x. I think derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x, but we want to write derivative of 3 sin square x minus 2 cos square x. Derivative of 
a raised to 3 sin square x minus 2 cos square x into d dx of 3 sin square x minus 2 cos square x. Therefore, e raised to 3 sin square x minus 2 cos square x. And the derivative of sin square is 3 into 2, 6 sin x into derivative of sin x is cos x. 2 into 2, 4 cos x into derivative of cos x is minus sin x. And this minus minus will become plus that is e raised to 3 sin square x minus 2 cos square x. That is a 6 sin x into cos x plus 4 sin x into cos x, 6 plus 4 that is a 10. Therefore, e raised to 3 sin square x minus 2 cos square x that is a 10 sin x into cos x. Therefore, dy by dx is equal to a raised to 3 sin square x minus 2 cos square x into that is a 5 in bracket 2 sin x into cos x means sin of 2x that is a 5 sin of 2x into a raised to 3 sin square x minus 2 cos square x Here. derivative of this 3 sin square x minus 2 cos square x 6 sin x derivative of sin x is cos x 6 sin x cos x there is a 2 2 into 2 4 cos x derivative of cos x is minus sin x this minus minus will become plus 6 sin x into cos x plus 4 sin x that is a 10 and this 10 sin x into cos x can be written as that is 5 into 2 sin x into cos x. 2 sin x into cos x is sin of 2x. That is 5 sin of 2x into a raised to 3 sin square x minus 2 cos square x. And therefore, dy by dx is equal to the answer 5 sin of 2x into a raised to 3 sin square x minus 2 cos square x. Now, the next is. That then, that is a cos square in bracket log of x square plus 7. Now, why is it cos square? Cos square in bracket log of x square plus 7 differentiate this with respect to x. That is a 2 times dy by dx is equal to 2 cos of log of x square plus 7 into the dx of cos of log of x square plus 7. That is the 2 times cos of log of x square plus 7. It's a minus sign log of x square plus 7 into the dx of log of x square plus 7. The next step is x squared plus 7 by mistake that you can minus n. Now these terms are as it is first and second. That is a minus 2 sine of 2 cos of log of x squared plus 7 into sine of log of x squared plus 7. Now derivative of x squared minus 7. x plus x must be the plus sign into derivative of x square minus 7 and instead it is written in minus I have corrected it as a minus 2 sine of log of x square plus 7 into cos of log of x square plus 7 into 2x upon x square minus 7 and again one thing is that this is the 2 times sin of log of x square plus 7 into cos of log of x square plus 7 that is nothing but minus sin of 2 log of x square plus 7 upon x square plus 7 this is the divided by this 
that is a divide by x is equals to minus 2x sine of 2 in bracket log of x square plus 7 upon x square plus 7. Therefore, is equal to cos square log of x square plus 7, 2 times cos of log of x square plus 7 into ddx of cos of log of x square plus 7. It is a minus sign log of x square plus 7 into derivative of log of x square plus 7. Which is 1 upon x square plus 7 into derivative of x square plus 7, which is a 2x. Write this in simplified form. But here is a 2 sin theta into cos theta. That is nothing but the sin of 2 in bracket log of x square plus 7. It is a 2x minus 2x sin of 2 in bracket log of x square plus 7 upon x square plus 7. And this is the answer. Next is. Number 11. That is the time of the cos of sine x. Now, first find out the derivative of time and then cos and sine. Sequence. That's the derivative. So, x square cos of sine x into dx of cos of sine x. That is x square cos of sine x. And the derivative of cos of sin x is a minus sin of sin x into dx of sin x into dx of sin x which is the cos x. That's x square in bracket cos of in bracket sin x. Take minus sin is common sin of sin x and the derivative of sin x is cos x. Therefore, this is the divided by dx. That is minus six square in bracket cos of in bracket sin x into sin x in bracket sin x into cos x. Again, the tip will be for this problem tan derivative of tan is six square cos of sin x. Derivative of cos of sin x is minus sin of sin x. Again, the derivative of sin x, which is the cos x. And then write this such. Therefore, dy by dx is equal to minus 6 square in bracket cos of sin x into sin of sin x into cos x. Next is. Number why sec of in bracket tan of x raised to 4 plus 4. Now, first find out the derivative of sec. Sec derivative of sec is sec x into tan x, then tan, then x square plus 4. Now, differentiate this with respect to x divided by dx is equal to sec of tan of x square plus 4 into tan of in bracket tan of x square plus 4 into derivative of tan of x raised to 4 plus 4 that is sec of in bracket tan of x raised to 4 plus 4 tan of in bracket tan of x raised to 4 plus 4 derivative of tan is a sec square in bracket x raised to 4 plus 4 into dx of x raised to 4 plus 4 which is the 4x cube. That is sec of tan of x raised to 4 plus 4 tan of 
Do that you cannot. X plus two four plus four. And do six square. In bracket x plus two four plus four. And do four x cube. And the final answer. There is a four x cube six square in bracket x raised to four plus four. Six in bracket tan of x raised to four plus four. This is the answer. Again, we have the fifth answer. This is the derivative of tan. Let's take x into tan x. Derivative of tan. This is x squared. In that x is to 4 plus 4. Derivative of x is to 4 plus 4 is a 4x cube. And the derivative dy by x. Which is the 4x cube. 6 squared. x is to 4 plus 4. In the sec of tan of x is to 4 plus 4 into tan of tan of x is to 4 plus 4. This is the dy by dx. Now the next one. Problem number 13. E is to log of in that way log of x square minus log of x square log of x bracket square and minus log of x square. Now derivative of first of all e raised to x, derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x, but before that log of e is a base e, derivative e raised to log of log of x square minus 2 times log, that is nothing but this is the log of x square minus 2 log x. What is the derivative of the differential this? Log of x bracket square is a 2 times log x into radius of log x. And derivative of log x is 1 upon x, that is a 2 into 1 upon x. That is a 2 log x, derivative of log x is 1 upon x, that is a 2 log x upon x minus 2 upon x. Therefore, dy by dx is equal to 2 log x minus 2 log x upon x minus 2 upon x. So we can write that y is equal to log of x bracket square minus 2 log x. Derivative log of x bracket square is a 2 log x, radius of log x. Derivative log x is 1 upon x. Now one simplification is that log of x is 1 upon x. Therefore dy by dx is equal to 2 log x upon x minus 2 x. Therefore, dy by dx is equal to 2 log x upon x minus x, 2 upon x. Next is that is a problem number 14. Y is equal to sign up. In root of sine of root x. Now, first of all, derivative of this sign, first sign, which is a cos of in root of sine of root x into dx of root of sine of root x. That is 1 upon cos of in root of sine of root x. So, derivative is a 1 upon 2 in root of sine of root x into derivative of sine of root x which is a cos of root x into derivative of root x is 1 upon 2 times root x now continue this that is the cos of root of sine of root x 1 upon 2 root of sine of root x into derivative of sine of root x is cos of root x into derivative of root x is 1 upon 2 root x that is the cos of 
root of sin of root x upon 2 root of sin of root x This is the dy by dx is equals to cos of in root of sin of root x cos of root x upon 4 root x in root of sin of root x. You can see this here. Derivative of sin is cos of in root of sin of root x p dx of sin of root of sin of root x which is 1 upon 2 root of sin of root x ddx of sin of root x is cos of root x into derivative of root x is 1 upon 2 times root x and overall we can write the answer cos of root of sin of root x cos of root x 2 into 2 4 root x into in root of sin of root x next is That is the log of c of e is to x square. That would be by dx equals to 1 upon c of e is to x square into dx of sec of e raised to x square that is 1 upon sec of e raised to x square into ddx of sec of e raised to x square into tan of e raised to x square into ddx of e raised to x square that is these two terms get cancelled tan of e raised to x square derivative of e raised to x square is e raised to x square into derivative of e raised to x square derivative of x square which is a 2x That is a 2x into e raised to x square into tan of e raised to x square. Therefore, dy by dx is equals to 2x e raised to x square tan of e raised to x square. x into e to x square tan of e to x square. Now, again, this is here. That is the log of sec of e to x square. Pi is equal to log of sec of e to x square. Differentiate this with respect to x. Divide by dx is equal to 1 upon sec of e to x square into e dx of sec of e to x square. This is your sec of e raised to x square into tan of e raised to x into derivative of e raised to x square which is e raised to x square into derivative of x square which is a 2x and therefore we have the answer tan of e raised to x square e raised to x into e raised to x square 2x and overall the dy by dx is equals to 2x into e raised to x square into tan of e raised to x square Next is problem number 16. That is the log of 
Proverbs to the base is square. Now this can be written as log of log x upon log of p square. This is the log of p square. Log of log x upon log of p square. Log of p square is a this is a two two times log of log of log x. There is a two times log of p. Log of p is one. There is a log of log x upon two. Now y is equals to log of log x. Now differentiate this with respect to x. Dy by dx is equals to one upon two. There is a log. There is one upon log x into d dx of log x, which is a one upon two x log of x. This is the dy by dx. Dy by dx is equals to one upon two x log of x. Dy by dy by dx is equals to two x log of x. Is here. That is a y is equals to log of log of x to the base is square. Now change in the base property. That is a log of log x upon log of p e square. Now log of log x log of p e square can be written as two log of e, and log of p e is one. Therefore log of log x upon two. Therefore y is equals to log of log x upon two. Now differentiate this with respect to x. That is a dy by dx is equals to one upon two log of x into derivative of log of x. Derivative of log of x. Derivative of log of log x. It's a derivative of one upon log x into derivative of log x, which is one upon x. That is the dy by dx is equals to one upon two x log x. And therefore dy by dx is equals to one upon two x log x. Next is Next is problem number seventeen. That is a log of log of log x bracket square. That is differentiate this with respect to x. Divide by dx is equals to two times log of log of log x this is the first into ddx of log of log of log x first of all derivative of power then keep this term as it is then log of log of log x is 1 upon log of log x into derivative of log of log x Dx of log of log x. Now next is keep this term as it is two times log of log of log x into one upon log of log x. There it is one upon log x into derivative of log of x. And there the log of x is a one upon x. And that's the answer. There's a two times log of log of log x. And this whole divided by log of log x into log x into an upon x. And this is the answer. Therefore, divide by dx is equal to 2 log of log of log x times x into log of log x into log x. Just like that. Divide by dx. Like two times log of log of log x. Dx of log of log of log x, which is 
1 upon log of log x into root of log of log x. Keep this term as it is, 1 upon log of log x, root of log of log x is 1 upon log x, into root of log x, which is 1 upon x. And that's why 2 times log of log of log x is 4 divided by x into log of log x into log x. This is the divided by x. Next is problem number eighteen sine square x square minus cos square x square. Now differentiate this with respect to x. Therefore, we will get 2 sin square x square into derivative of sin of x square, 2 cos of x square into derivative of cos of x square. That is a 2 sin of x square over the derivative of sin of x square is a cos of x square into derivative of x square is a 2x minus 2 cos of x square into derivative of cos of x square is minus sin of x square into derivative of x square is a 2x. That is a 2 sin of x square into cos of x square. That is nothing but sin of 2x square. Derivative of x square is a 2x. Minus minus will become plus. There is a 2 sin of x square into cos of x square into derivative of x square is a 2x. That is sin of 2a. 2x into sin of 2x square and 2x into sin of 2x square. Now again this become 4x sin of x square. Therefore divide by dx is plus 4x sin of x squared. Okay. That is a sin square x square minus cos square x square. Y is equal to sin square x square cos square x square. The derivative of power that is a 2 sin square x square. The derivative of sin of x square is a cos of x square into derivative of x square is a 2x. Again, the derivative of cos per x square is a 2 times cos of x square into derivative of cos of x square, which is minus sin of x square into derivative of x square, which is a 2x. And therefore, sin of 2x square, let us see again here 2 sin of x square into cos of x square. That is nothing but the sin of 2x square. The derivative of x square is a 2x. Next again here is a minus minus will become plus that is a 2 sin of x square into cos of x square into 2x that is a 2x into sin of 2x square that is a sin of 2x square into 2x and sin of 2x square into 2x that is a 4x sin of 2x square and that's what divide by dx is equals to 4x into sin of 2x square. And in this way, we have completed the first part of this exercise. Now we will continue in the next video, next part, that is the remaining problems. There is a problem number 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. In the next video. Till then, goodbye.